How's it going, folks? And welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Today, we're going to be starting with The Violator. It's just a car. Nothing super fancy about it other than the way it's built, the way it looks. We got some little flashing lights in the front there. Kind of looks like teeth from the front. Kind of looks like a skull. That, uh, that blower sticking out of the hood there. And then the, the eyes, the windshield kind of looks like the eyes. All right, so it's a pretty aggressive looking car. Pretty stylish. Took some time building this one here. Lots of angled pieces, making sure everything looks nice and skookum. Double wheels in the back for traction, but those wheels, as we all know, don't have the greatest grip. So, of course, underneath, we have spiked wheels on suspension for additional traction, because we need the traction for the speeds. For the speeds. So, we got headlights, we got brake lights. Space bar gives us a little bit extra push from some mini thrusters that are inside the body. Oh, oh, good, took some damage, took some damage. Fix it up, fix it up. So again, it's not the fastest car in Trailmakers, but it is a uh, pretty aggressive looking car. It's got decent handling, decent speed, 170 clicks. Looks pretty cool. Just put together pretty solid. It can crash into stuff and it's pretty, uh, holds together pretty well. Let's see how far up this thing we can go. Let's see if we dodge around these. I like the sound of it too. I put a, ah, a bulldog engine in there just so you can get the. But yeah, there's those wheels underneath. So I like using those spiky wheels because they give you extra traction and uh, they stop your butt from sliding around all over the place. They work well. And also, there's a, a fan, one of those little uh, propellers in the front there of the engine. So I'm using that for forward, forward pull as well. As well, right? Use everything you got for extra speeds. Extra speeds, man. So yeah, that's the Violator. Again, nothing super, super fancy about it. Just WASD and space for your extra propulsion. I'll be uploading that to the shop for an instant, but we're gonna use this as a target for our next build. All right, so the next toy we're gonna play with here, this is the Starburst Bomb Rocket. So as we can see on here, it's fairly small. It has some detachable blocks with a bunch of dynamite on it. And all of those eight different sticks will all separate so that we can bomb our target over there, the violator sitting over there. We can just jump in here. We have swivel, we can tip it. Let's see, see if we can line this up. See if we even got range to get there. So again, this is just using an XOR gate on the bottom there to control the thrusters and the detachable blocks themselves are just set on a delay on a uh, two second delay delay i believe uh there's a one second delay on the detachable blocks to actually release the missiles so the rockets have time to build up propulsion and then they fire and then they should all falls down at different rates so that they fall and explode on the car let's see if that happens so we'll hit number one Oh, oh, it looks like that was a direct shot, a direct hit. I just blew it right up. You see how all those pieces came off? Now this car is normally pretty strong. Oh, look at that, blew the rubber right off the tires. It's normally pretty strong, but it blew a big hole in it. That was pretty good. Let's try firing another one. Let's do it again, shall we? I'm gonna angle that a bit forward like that. Make sure it's nice and lined up. That looks like it should be good. And fire. This time we'll follow along. Oh. Haha. <laughs> okay, that well, see we can use that to our advantage. Now we have a bunch of dynamite laying around there. And we know that that did not uh that that was not far enough. Not even close. So we're gonna angle that, that way a wee bit like that. 
So now we should get lots of explosions over there if this thing gets anywhere near. And fire! And jump out! Fly along, cameraman! Oh yeah. So that's the starburst rocket bomb. Bomb, bomb rocket, rocket missile bomb, bomb rocket missile. It's the explosive thingy that goes in the air and when it comes down it goes boom. And that's what happens. That's what happens. Hopefully that's enough range. Oh yeah. So as you can see that works fairly well. But you don't have to be really accurate. You just have to get them in the general area. In the ballpark shall we say. So yeah, that was fun to make like a mini Jericho missile like that that would come apart in multiple pieces. Again, you can build them much bigger, or you can build them much smaller. Uh, maybe we'll do a, leave a comment down below if you want to see a tutorial on how to build one of these little missiles like this that detach. It's fairly simple, but I'll show you if you want to see it. All right, let's take a look at our next build. All right, the next build we're taking a look at here is the Grasshopper. Uh, it is called the Grasshopper because it is a uh, fairly simple, small, agile, and it gets around pretty quick. This is a two-seater tank. There's a gunner seat in the front there, the operator seat. And then up top we have the pilot seat up in the armored seat. We got some lights. We got a, a, a cannon, which is kind of what makes a tank a tank. But there's also a couple of small mini cannons that are back here in these pieces that stick out in the back. But all of this good stuff here folds up inside for a double layer of protection. So we hit number one. That drops down. These drop down. Everyone's protected. And everyone is now all tucked in. Nice and safe. So we got fairly decent tank steering. Decent speed as well. About for a tank. Yeah. 60 kilometer an hour tank. Watch out for the dynamites. So we got lots of wheels underneath. We got decent clearance. So we got some uh, off-road capabilities. Definitely get us where we need to go. Space bar is for our cannon. Left shift fires our two mini cannons, which are tucked in here. Which are part of these that open up. And our arrow keys rotate the turret this is what's normally controlled by the gunner would be the turret like this and then the up and down arrow keys is what lifts and lowers the barrel so then we can turn that like that we can turn that right around aim it up a wee bit like this adios say hello to my little friend boom 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 oh there it goes there it goes that is the Grasshopper. Two-man tank. That'd be fun for uh, two versus two battles. That way you keep it nice and simple. There's no over-spamming of the weapons. You just got a couple of small machine guns and your cannon for doing the big damage. I'll be uploading that to the shop as well. If you're interested, have a look. Nothing super fancy about it, just some detail, wheels put together. Just wanted to make a base, basic two-person tank. That works well, and is fairly tough. It can take a couple of shots as well, because everything is so intricately put together. Alright, let's take a look at our next build. So our next build here is the Deadhead Hydrofoil. So a deadhead is basically a log whenever it's just under the surface or barely sticking out of the surface of the water when it's stuck in the bottom of the lake. Uh, very dangerous if you're boating. Always want to watch out for deadheads sticking out of the water or just under the surface. Do a lot of damage. Uh, so I kind of decided to call this a deadhead because when it sits like this, it just kind of looks like a log piece of wood sticking out of the water. But when we jump in it, it's kind of shaped like a sideways seven, like a handgun kind of. So we can just hit number one. All we have for control A and D for steering and number one which gives us our power, which lifts us up, out the water, and there we go. Now when we steer, we do lean sideways, so you gotta be tap-tap on the steering, or else you'll flip right over, so you can kind of ride the one fin like this as you're steering. Keeps the front end out the water. 
let it go, it'll just level itself off. It is using angle sensors and some helicopter engines for stabilization, of course, because there's nothing holding the front end up. There you go, 212 kilometer an hour hydrofoil. It's like a gun. Now, I don't know if this thing would take off into the air if it would actually fly because there's no lift in the front. Whoa, whoa! Oh, look at that, barrel roll. <laughs> Didn't wasn't expecting that. Didn't let's try that on again. Let's try that on purpose. Let's try to do it a barrel roll this way and then this way. Oh, okay. All the way over. Can we go all the way over? All the way over. Barrel roll. No. No. Totally fluke accident. But she zips along pretty good. Kinda looks pretty cool too. No weapons on it. I think what happens is when it's on its side, it catches Ooh -hoo. the sails in the back catch the wind, I think. They act really good as stabilizers, so I think that's what's happening. I think that's how we did the barrel roll. I don't think we were supposed to do that. It's not designed for barrel rolls. It's designed to go straight and to turn. Wee bit of corners like this. So that is the deadhead hydrofoil. I'll put that on the shop. You can download it and you can see how it works. Or you can just drive it around and try and hit your other friends' boats in the water. See if that works. Eh? Alright, let's take a look at our final build of the video, shall we? We need a target though. We need a target. Maybe we'll leave this over here. Alrighty, so what we've got here is our last build of the video is our America missiles. Guess why? They're called the America missiles. America! Alright, so over there on the shore, I left the grasshopper tank. And in the water there, I don't know if you can see it, but I left the, the deadhead hydrofoil sitting in the water. Now we're going to take these missiles here. Now these here are servo stabilized missiles. So they got some helicopter engines there on there and they spins around, keeps us all stabilized while it's flying through the air. So that helps there uh, because they got lots of power. They got a big thruster in the middle and then a couple of smaller ones, the dragon thrusters on the back side. And a small wing on the back there because the weight from the back end of the missile kept on it to drop down and go straight up in the air. So I put some of them on the back and that flies fairly straight. We got a nice arc and we got good range. We can control that. So we gonna jump in. We got number one, two, and three. Number one fires the white missile in the middle. Number two is the blue one. Number three is the red one. So what we are gonna do is we gonna angle these back here. WASD gives us a wee bit's control of the, uh, the turret here. So we're going to aim this one here like this. We're going to aim it back a bit and get some range. We're going to fire number one. And number one, apparently, has gone a wee bit too far. So we're just going to angle down just a little bit. A little bit. And then we're going to try firing the red one there. Let's go number three. Oh, it went off to the side a wee bit because of the thrust. I should have fired maybe number two and three at the same time. See, that would have been perfect. All right, all right, I'm gonna take that into consideration and I'm gonna put this blue one here like this and fire number two. There you go, there you go, there you go. Come on, show me the money. Boom. Oh, that looked like it exploded something. That looked good, didn't it? That looked pretty good. Pretty good, yeah, all right. Let's rebuild these ones here. And this time, we ain't missing. We ain't missing this time. Why? Because I'm going to fire all three at the same time. Same time. So we're going to go one, two, three, bang. Oh, 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 oh. We got craziness and servos going everywhere. What's going on? That ain't right. That just ain't right. All right, two and three. Y'all going to work? Nope. Y'all just going to fly off this way with your loop-de-loops. So we don't have our targets there anymore, unfortunately. We can rebuild these, and let's see how this looks when they all do fly at once. It does look pretty good. So we set that up, we set our target, we go one, two, three. They all fly in a nice triangle formation. 
as you can see we've got a nice arc of course not quite far enough to get to the shore can't get to the shore man doggy paddle doggy paddle homes all right so we're gonna put these up a little bit more like that and then one two three they do look good when they fly right they got a nice arc and kaboom a little mushroom cloud So yep, those are the America missiles. I will be uploading those as well. It's got a nice stable, just a weighted base. And the extra room there with the detachable block so that when they drop, they don't hit the actual launcher. See that? That's pretty close, eh? Kind of actually, I hate to say it, but they kind of remind me of a Scud missile when they fire a Scud. Or like a Tomahawk missile where it points slightly up. Oh, great, I can't even turn all that way. All right. Yeah, nice Tomahawk missile. The nose stays slightly up as it flies through the air till it gets to his target and removes it from the world. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Cool. Well, that's all I got for you in this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button, let me know which was your favorite one in this build, and we will see you in the next one. Ciao.